Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, <laughs> well, got up this morning. Um, actually slept better last night. Um, I've uh, actually gone back to using uh, Breathe the Right strips because um, I tried one the other night, and Sherry said that I didn't snore as much um, with it. So um, I went back to trying them um, to see how, you know, whether it makes a difference. Um, I slept better last night, I think. Um, she said she slept better because I didn't wake her up snoring. Um, so my snoring was lessened. Um, wasn't gone, but at least it was less. It wasn't as bad. Um, so I uh, got up this morning. Uh, I made some uh, cinnamon rolls and uh, some sausage links and we had that for breakfast this morning um, that was pretty good um, and uh, then we decided to go to Indianapolis um, there was a uh, a garden center down uh, south side of Indianapolis that uh, Sherry had wanted to go to for a while um, hadn't been there I think she said she hadn't been there in, in a long time, or this was the first time. I can't remember which she said. But uh, we decided to go down there and take a look around, see if there was anything. Because uh, she had seen online that um, they had some stuff uh, with good price, um, you know, on sale. So we went down and looked around. Uh... They had they actually had some elephant ears uh, discounted fifty percent off. So, and the the price was was reasonable on them, um, anyways. So we went ahead and got a couple of elephant ears and a couple other plants. Um, we replaced my plant that the cat destroyed, um, and hopefully, since we've gotten her some cat grass. Um, she won't, I think she's been leaving the, the plants alone recently. Uh, most of them are outside, so she can't get to them. But I think since we got her the cat grass, that's going to alleviate. So I'll be able to put my plant back, uh, in the head that we bought, uh, that I wanted the plant for. Um, and, uh, it's smaller than the one I had, uh, but it'll grow. Um, and it basically gives the head a, a spiky hair appearance. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the head is, is, it's a, basically kind of a planter, um, that's the way it's designed. Um, and it's a Easter Island, uh, head type of shape. Uh, that's what it kind of looks like, is it, an Easter Islander. Um, and so... Uh, I wanted to get another plant to go in it, give him spiky hair, and so we found this when it's small, but it was cheap, so, um, and then we, uh, she actually got contacted while we were down in Indianapolis, there was a guy down there that she had been, uh, talking to about some plants, and, uh, he had one available, and, uh, he was just, you know, hop skipping a jump away from where we were at um so we went over and uh, talked to him uh we actually got two plants from him and uh so then we headed up and went to uh allisonville nursery and uh, looked around there um found a couple of small you know plants there, nothing really major that we, you know, um, you and talk know. about a woman with an attitude. Yeah, we, we encountered an uh, employee there that just, oh man, um, I wanted to walk out. Yeah. Because there was a sign that said, all tropicals 60% off. Okay. There were like four plants up on a, a shelf 
Amorphophallus peony florus. That I probably said wrong. It's the corpse flower. Is that the right? I don't know what its common name is, but okay. yes, related. It was an amorphophallus. I just think it's peonia forest, or it's P A E N O F L O R U S, I think. Okay, it, it's peony an amorphophallus. Forest, yeah. Okay. So, but this woman, you know, we said, you know, it, we asked, because she came up and asked if she could help. And we said, well, it, you know, is, is this, you know, on sale? And she was like, oh, no, that's that's a special. Actually, and, we didn't even or, ask. Well, yeah, we didn't ask about that at No, first. I was getting it down off she, the shelf, but we was figuring out and the price. She, yeah, and she was, she was asked if she could help. And, um... No, we did. We ask. We did ask, and she she said, "Well, you know, it's it's a special. It's it's not on sale." And it was well, you know, it's a tropical, it's a it's a tropical plant, right? And it's like, but it's special. It's not on sale, and you don't really want that plant. It it's stinky. Well, we already knew that the Amorphophallus has a flower that um <laughs> stinks um but to, to be an employee and tell people you don't want that plant it's stinky um that's that's not the right and and to be to have that attitude of well no that's not on sale that's a special well it's a tropical but that's a special so it's not part of the deal the sign says all tropicals 60 percent it's a tropical plant. It should be on sale then. But it's a special. Whatever. Um, they had... The rest of their tropicals were in one... Basically, basically in just one area. And all of those were 60% off. These were in a slightly different location. They were above the tropicals. On well, the shelf. no... The rest of the tropicals were outside no, on the was, other side of that wall. No, there were still some tropicals on that little table beside them, like there was. Okay, but yeah. did but you most, look at any of those and see if they said 60%? I didn't because I wasn't interested in any of those. I, I suspect those were all specials as well that weren't on sale <laughs> because the way it looked to me... Elephant ears and stuff, and they had those outside, so I would have argued that point. You know, it looked like most everything that was on sale was sitting outside the building, you know, on the other side of that wall. It was just her, so, but her that, attitude and her tone of voice. Yeah, yeah. And talking down to me like <laughs> I was buying a plant that I knew nothing about. Right, that right. That really pissed me off. Yeah. Oh, oh, someone else was saying that on YouTube. Well, nope. too late. Okay, I think our uh, buzzer is going off. Do I yep. need to do anything or just pull it out? Just take it out if it looks done. Okay. We're we're having a pizza. Um, we put it in the oven and it should hopefully be done. So, but after Allisonville, then we, we went up to Kokomo and stopped at Sonic because we wanted... Uh, Drinks from Sonic, <laughs> which obviously they were having um, some staffing issues because um, I pulled around to one of the stalls to place an order. All the stalls were closed. Uh, they didn't have, evidently they didn't have any car hops to do the stalls. I placed my order online. Their lobby was closed. It, it, it's only open from 9 to 3 now. So I had to go through the drive through and uh, let them know that I had placed my order online and paid for it. So, um, but it, it was just, you know, they had nobody to man the lobby, nobody to man the, the stalls, you know, no car hops. They just had a couple of insiders to make the food and drinks. So, obviously, you know, but... Uh, well, now, it's just like what I read on Facebook. Everybody has complained for a number of years 
about how they shouldn't have to tip the servers and they shouldn't have to t tip the delivery drivers. And it's not their fault that these people want to work for these cheap wages, but they should not depend on other people to help them make a living. So what has happened? All this time, these other people have been told this and been working for nothing and trying to make a living and provide for themselves or their families or the situation and getting looked down on by everybody else. Now that jobs have become available that pay more, these low-income workers are snapping them up. And now everybody wants to complain because, oh, gee, things are closing at 7 o'clock at night or they're closed during the day when they should be open because these places have no staff. So the next time before somebody complains, maybe they ought to think about tipping their server, tipping their delivery driver, and being thankful and even saying thank you to them and being thankful that these people out here want to work a job that they can't even put food on their table, but they want to be there in service of others. So maybe people need to think about that. Okay. Because, oh yes, I'm opinionated. Okay. So, anyways, then we came home, got the pizza going, so now it's time to eat. So, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.